So one of the big reasons video games became famous was because of the challenge players had to overcome with each game. Think of it like you tell your best friend, oh, I beat this really cool game. And that kind of word of mouth brings popularity to an experience. But what happens when you take the objective out of a game and hand control of the game's materials to the player? Well, the game genre, known as sandbox games, seeks to do just that. Sandbox games are famous for providing little to no direction for players to follow. It's difficult to know where to start when it comes to these types of games. But I think I know where to begin. My name's Joe Shiro, and this is why we play sandbox games. When playing games online, players can feel pretty restrained by the limitations the developers give in an interactive space. For players who prefer a creative experience, there are sandbox games. Much like a child playing in a sandbox, games in this genre are popular due to their allure of limitless possibilities. Players use basically every component of a game to create new experiences unlike anything anyone's ever seen before. So, sandbox games really hit mainstream popularity when Minecraft exploded onto the scene in 2010. Players used creative mode to craft online experiences with different mini-games within the main game of Minecraft. This basically led to an explosion of popularity amongst gamers, trying out uh, different ways that they could play a familiar game that they really liked. So that's where Gary's mod comes in. Coined as Gmod by many of its players, this sandbox game basically lets users load any 3D model into a sandbox environment, then animate these characters to do whatever they want. So Gary's Mod has an offline and an online aspect as well. And online, there is game modes called roleplay servers. These communities allow people to basically be whoever they want and be in a community of people. I think this is really interesting because I never knew that people spent their time doing this, but I grabbed a buddy and we visited two servers and one of them was a Star Wars RP server where we were stormtroopers and our goal was to get an interview no one really wanted to give us the time of day. Then we went on to a different server called Triton RP, which is a dark RP server. And a dark RP server is basically a role play server that simplifies a ge generative lifestyle. So eventually, after asking around, uh, we met the head admin, not a spatula. And he's the head administrator for this online community. Not a spatula flew my friend and I and a few other players up to another area so we could conduct a short interview. Basically, we asked him what staff members on the server are like and what they do. Um, I'm a digital media and design major. I'm studying sandbox games and their longevity as uh, you know, content in the world. Why do you play Gary's Mod, specifically like Dark RP? Like, what do you find engaging about the game mode? Uh, it's normally just like random people that join and do stupid shit. It's kind of funny to watch. Wait, can I curse? Uh, so how long have you been playing Gary's Mod for? Like two years. What makes you a fan of uh, this server in particular? I guess the staff team is really nice. What, what cool stuff can you do as a staff? I mean, I, we saw earlier you, you like lifted us up. Could you could you show us that again? I mean. Oh, it's with the fish down there. Somewhere. Cool. I can spawn. Uh, nice. A bunch of <laughs> bit miners, sir. Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I can that's be small. Awesome. Oh, tiny. Well, that's great, but do you happen to have evidence on a current outlaw that goes by the name Lagoshi? See, this is this is one of the reasons I like uh, this server. Well, any server really. You get people like this that just really like stick to the role. You know, they just this guy really believes he's a Texas Ranger. The chicken shit you just say to me, boy. <laughs> people online are interesting. And the people who play games vary in all ages, shapes, and sizes. 
players use games to be creative, compete for victory, or get into hilarious circumstances with their friends. Sandbox games are an interesting romp through some of the internet's quirkiest corners. I'm Joe Shiro. Thanks for watching.